you, you can see your screen, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Okay. It's well, presenting I, already. I cannot, I cannot move it from here. Let me stop and then uh, enter it again. Okay. While you're doing that, please, um, if today is your first time of joining, please, can we um, know your name and your department and your level? Let's start from Amoha. Amoha, can you unmute yourself and introduce yourself? Okay. Amoha, are you there? Amoha, we can see you. Just unmute your mic and speak. Okay. Um, maybe uh, next person. Okay. The next person. Um, I'm um, I'm in faculty of arts, okay. and I'm in linguistic department. Awesome. Oh, okay. Welcome to um Ekwabia. the lecture for today. Equabia. is welcome. Yeah, pleased okay. to meet you. Uh, uh, Ku is Yoruba, Bia is Igbo, and uh, Chui and Ka. So, a combination of Yoruba, Igbo, Ka, and Ka, Thank you. Thank you. Shendo. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shendo. Thank you. Thank you. Shendo comes from, sorry, Shendo comes from Eshel and Dalo, Ndo, Do, uh, Urubo, Do, Edo, Do, everybody Do. So in Gwosa, we simply say Shendo, meaning thank you. Okay, Shendo, <laughs> thank you. And then I will reply Shendoka. Shendoka means, that car means very much Shendoka. Okay, Shendoka. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, a round of applause for you. <laughs> Shendoka means thank you. Shendoka yes, means thank yeah. you very much. Very much. Thank exactly. you. <laughs> Noted. All right. That All word, right, that's car, good. That word car is from Igbo. Igbo says, Eme ka, ka. That car means much. So when we say Shendoka, Shendoka. And also, the word ka is, is not spelled K A, it's spelled K H A. And how come when you, the Yoruba have a kind of gong or drum like that? Not only Yoruba, all over Nigeria, they have drum. When you beat it, you hear. Yes. That word is onomatopoeic sound from. African traditional drum. So, Bongo. and then, so that's where the word uh, comes from. That tells you Gosa is traditional evolution. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Little by little, you, 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 you ask questions, you get to know it more and more. It's very interesting. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Shendo Kasa. Shendo Abasi, thank God. <laughs> Let's move on. Thank Otherwise, you. we continue from one word lead to the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the next person, Joanna Duruwam. Can you unmute yourself and introduce yourself to us? Joanna? Hello, good evening. I'm good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, sir. Good. I am Duranguma Joanna, 100 level linguistics student. Beautiful. Ekuabia, meaning welcome. Mm. Okay. There are three others. Oh, that's three others. How do I? Oh, my God. I want to let the other three other in. Let's see. Okay. So sharing. Okay. 
Yes, you know, Joanna do, Brown, we are pleased to meet you. Welcome to our Dosa lecture. Thank you. You're welcome. Makaranta Asusu Gosa. Do you know what that means? No, sir. Yeah. Okay, uh, others, can you please enlighten us? Ekwa Biasi Makaranta means welcome to school. Or if you if you want that if you are in school, if you want to say welcome to school or welcome to our school, Ekwa Biasi Makaranta. In Yoruba, the team in Ekwabo means welcome. Yeah, it's good you know that it's coming from Yoruba. So it is the addition of Yoruba and Igbo that gave us but, Ekwabia. Igbo. Yes. Okay. Uh, more, than then, Igbo, more, than, more than Igbo, because in Ghana, in the, in the language called Ga or tree, they use bra instead of bia. So uh, in Gosa, bia is extend the, like uh, we use the Ghanaian bra as a synonym for bia so when you say equa bia you even uh, indirectly speaking nigeria and Ghanaian language okay yeah so move on uh Oga caleb so that we jump into the into today's class Okay, so I think we can, I think we can start because, yeah. All right. No problem. Okay, now this is our today's, uh, so I have permissions as I'm, uh, we are today, we said we're going to be dealing with the uh, last two weeks we deal with uh, uh, what um and then which uh for today we shall be, be dealing with uh be, uh, with oh. who before we start with who anyone remember what we studied last week remember uh, madam joy took us around last week very effectively by uh, you know, bringing us back to the previous week in review, and a lot of us were able to remember what we studied. So what did so, we... It was Madam Oge, sir. Hey, Madam Oge, I'm sorry. Oge, thank you for that last week. I hope she's there. Anyway. I think she's having network issues too, so she'll be back, I guess. Okay, so anybody can tell us briefly before we go to the what we learned last week. That tells us that we are making progress. Ooh. Anybody? Uh, if there's nobody. The... Uh? Can I try, sir? Sure. Okay. So um, last week, um, Madam Oge did a revision of what we learned upper week, which was the um, Wani and Wudu. Mm -hmm. she, she, remember, she, she made us make um, sentences with Wudu, Wani, and um, Wani. And, uh, what's the other one? Wani. Wani. Uh -huh. Wani, yes. So we made um we made several sentences and um word constructions with um the those words and we were graded and corrected. So that's what we did last week, sir. Yeah, that's good. And a plus. That's a place we are in uh, uh after wedding. No, nobody trying to send a message. Anyway, you did good. Any other person before we move on? Somebody I'm trying to say something. 
Let's see. Ooh. Hold on. Stop sharing. Okay. Is there any other person? Want? Okay, if there's no other person, let us start with today's uh, this lesson as I bring it back on board again. And that is this one, this one. So for today, we're going to deal with the word who is that? I don't know. Last week we read, uh, we dealt with who is that. Am I right? Yeah. No, boy. Last week, last week we we made a review of it, but we were not uh, properly taught. We only did, did dealt with Wodu and um, and Wani. I think so. Many. That's who and what. Many, sorry. Okay. All right. Let's go on today. Who who is that? Um, Okay, so you see what is on the screen. Who is that? Yeah. Meaning, Wani Wu Ye. Everybody say Wani Wu Ye. Wani Wu Ye. Wani Wu Ye. I'm I'm worried. It looks like it looks like we are not carrying other people on along. Whether they are with us or they are not listening. Please. Please, can you kindly unmute yourself and repeat after Prof? I can see all of you here. Yeah. Now we're talking. One more time. Wani Wuye. Wani Okay. Wani Wuye. That is, who is that? Then the next word is, who is calling me? We say, Wani Kono Mi. Take note before, before you say it. Wani, Wani, see that uh, present continuous uh, NG. Wani Kono, see the K O N, the last O is low and high. Kono. Wani Kono Mi. All right, let's say it. One, two, three. One more time. That is who is calling me. And then the next word, who want to go? Remember, we are dealing with who today. The word is the key word is who. Who want to go? Which is Everybody say that. Wani 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 Okay. The next word is Wani. Okay. The next word is Wani. Ishenga. <laughs> One check, Shenga. One That is who want to, who want to go. One check, Shenga. Meaning want to go. One check, is want or like. And then Shenga move go, advance. Okay, let's say it one more time and then we we'll move on to the next word. Wani che ishenga. Say that. Wani che ishenga. 
Okay. Okay. And then the next word is who is this? Wani wu e ye. Everybody say wani wu e ye. Wani e wani wu. Wani. Wani no cry. Wani wu e ye. One, two, three. Wani 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 Okay, meaning who is this? And then the next word is the next word is Wani Wu Ni Say that Wani Wani what does that mean? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Somebody ask you. Somebody say, who are you? Meaning, who are you? And the next word is, who is next? Who are you? Say that. Who are Mm. That is who is next. Okay. And then the next word is Wani Wu Ubayi. Who is your father? Everybody say that. Wani Okay. Okay. The next word is one. Yeah. The next word is one. Meaning, who is your mother? Say that. Okay. Who is your mother? Wani. That is who. Mother. Who is is. Father. And then Uba. Mother. Now, what? You what we're going to do that from the first one and run it straight with no, no much uh, head um, problem right now because we've rehearsed it. Let's. Start from the first one. The first one is who is that? How do we say that? Who yeah. is that in Gosa? We all say one, two, three. One, one, no, what listen wani wu in that is who is in is that okay yes. okay one two one two three everybody wani wani wu in good wani wu in and then the next word is wani Konomi, one, 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 like you are on the cell phone, somebody calling. Wani Konomi, who is calling me? Or Wani Wunye, or who is that? Or Wani Wui. So those, these are the common catch words, everyday words. <laughs> so, like we said, from simple to uh, uh, to the complex. So the next word is uh, Wani Che Ishenga, meaning 
who want to go? One, two, three. Good. Meaning, who wants to go or who likes to go? Then the next word is Wani we ye. Wani we ye. Wani we ye. Attack on one, two, three, go. One, 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 one 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 two three one 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 Three. One, two, 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 and then last one you last one you buy in okay last but not the least one who is one. your father yeah the next last one 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 more time one 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 who is your mother? From, yeah, from all the uh, notes we have uh, taken, I mean, the lesson we've uh, studied. Anybody have a question? If you have a question, question? kindly raise up your hand or you can see. I guess no one has a question. You all understand what protocol is, right? Okay. Okay, so I think Ogi has a question. Okay, go ahead. Um, how come this is a and that is yen? Uh, a and uh, this and that. There are two different words. This means a ye. This very one. It mm -hmm. comes in. Yes. We say that Y I E N. I'm asking that how were they? Oh, what, for what, how were they? For? Yeah, it's oh, one. remember Gosa. Yes, yeah, Gosa words are from Nigerian languages, and the word A Y -E and uh, yeah, yeah, they are all well, both of them from Yoruba and Yoruba dialect. For instance. Yoruba say eleyi. Eleyi in Yoruba means this. And then the same thing in Yoruba dialect, inye also means that. Okay. And then when you put it together between Igbo and Yoruba, Igbo says nka, which is n start nka, which is this or that in Igbo. But in, if you say the same thing in Yoruba, e start e. That is why you have the Yoruba language word first. Yes, because the Gosa rule, we go with the alphabetical the one that order comes first in the alphabetical our, order. Yes, onomatopoeia right. and a couple of other rules. So when you put them together, All that's right. where you, that's where you have. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any other uh, the next question is um, Abdul Majid wants to ask a question. 
Okay, Abdul Majid. Yeah, yes, sir. I know we have been taught this before. This uh, E before the Chienga, that high. Yeah. So I want you to throw more lights. That's number three. Wani Che in Chienga. The okay. E there now, the I, the E sound. Number three. One, two, three. Wani Che in Chienga. Okay, that E is a conjunction. Yes, it's a conjunction. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily come from. Uh, alphabetical or anything so it is inflex to make to make the the word sound smoothly so this word e which is i e is in fact it's supposed to be uh, yeah it's correct it's e in, in english is letter e like egg but in african yeah. sound it's letter i like india so that's why you have it there. And the word, like I say, is like the word ng, which is a present continuous. Ng, it doesn't necessarily mean where it comes from. Yoruba have ng, Igbo, ng, even Hausa. So many words in Ghana, they have ng. So it's a conjunction. Waniche. Oh, sorry. Waniche i shenga. So the, the word E is, is a conjunction. If I don't know if I answer your question. Yeah, yes, I get it. Okay. So yeah, I was so, going to uh -huh. I was going to ask the same question too, because I was thinking it was supposed to be one but I just figured out from your explanation that it wouldn't oh, 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 rhyme yeah. well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm well. saying something. Caleb, I'm seeing something you and Abdul Maji is saying. Waniche. Okay. E. So e. thank you. Yeah. The, yeah, the second E. It should be one E, not two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you see it now? Yes, sir. But the main thing we're talking about is that I there. Which is E. Is e. it like I said? Is a con is a conjunction. I'm trying to it, sir, please, I explain it to them because you explained, but I don't think they really got it. Okay, maybe I didn't. So get what it. M Prof was trying to say was that the E there is a conjunction. Yeah. Now I think um, if you look at the word. Oh, who boy. there no. is one E. Sorry. One, when we say when we, when we say when we say conjunction, e example of conjunction e in so. English like like and or, but what I what no, like, I got for what Prof um Prof explained is was that it kind of a, retro, a retroflex like the, in order to make the sentence melodious. Yes. Like yes, those, uh, yes. Uh, that more intrusive R, all those uh, uh, Doctor Randy, yes. all those uh, in English. So that's what I just got there now. Okay. But how about the to there as a conjunction? Ishienga to go. E um ringa to run. E um somebody give yeah. me another verb. Okay. Um another verb warm. Warm is to eat. E warm to eat. So you see, no, if you think warm, about it that way. All right, so, so it's right. actually serving uh, a multiple function there. Yes. Okay, it, it, also a conjunction to make and the... Yes. It has, yeah, that, that's the language. It has a multiple uh, purpose function. there. Both conjunction yes. and uh, fluency. And uh, I, yes. I, don't, I don't know how the uh, next yes. word to further describe it. It has a multiple purpose. See, and it can be mm. used uh, if you say waniche ishenga, meaning who wants to go. But if to you go, uh, go. Who, or if you want, if you say waniche shenga, but it's, it, it doesn't sound right, something is missing. It says, Yes, you see, it becomes a waniche shenga, who won't go. That yeah. is like it's incomplete. A, it becomes a gosa, gosa pigeon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay, so in other words, uh, we can have something like 
um like to eat to um to eat to base you can say e warm e is is sula or like when you want to like it like maybe two letter was like to eat maybe you want to teach children that are still learning gosa you know when mm. they say to eat to play to um mm. these like all those little little um stuff so we can use e warm e sula e what something sula? like that can be what is sula sula to sleep sula, sula. to sleep, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, Good. thank you. Uh -huh. So, right, one, yeah, e, that e is a multiple, a multi purpose uh, 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 word function. function. So, it's like you say, it serves as a conjunction, as a, uh, I don't know, so many things, so many purpose. Because if you remove it, the language becomes, the gosa becomes a pigeon gosa, and you don't have it. And that's a way, one of the ways to know somebody who's learning how to speak Gosa, when they did not add all those uh, vital uh, uh, phonetics and consonants and vowels. So, uh, like the next word, Waniche, uh, Wani, no, not a uh, Wani Che Caleb, who wants, no, that's not, uh, that doesn't make uh, can somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody give another word with a verb. Or I say, okay. Waniche e warm, abinchi, meaning okay. who, who, want who wants to, to eat. eat to the who wants Caleb? <laughs> now you say, if Caleb go after you, don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we should round up the. Okay. Um, the yeah. okay. Know, yeah. Yeah. Time, time up. Time up now. So. Well, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Shendo, Shendoka, Fun Ikozi Nitata, thank you all for this lesson. And for our newcomers, you are all welcome. Sorry, this is a learning ground. Ask questions. We are all learners and we correct each other. The important thing is using Nigerian vocabularies, different Nigerian words to make a, a scientific language called Lingua Franca. That is the purpose of Gosa language. So that when you talk of a Lingua Franca for Nigeria or for ECOWAS, you hear, you, you, you feel the, speak the, the combination, the inclusiveness of other languages, dialects, and culture across the board. It's not that when you talk of a Lingua Franca, everybody's speaking Hausa, Everybody speaking Igbo, and uh, then there'll be riot and uh, trouble. We don't want that. But Gosa is a combination of all Nigerian languages and dialect and culture. So when your language is not there, Gosa is not complete. Same thing, when your language is not there, Nigerian uh, three main languages are incomplete. You look at, they said there are about 500 different Nigerian languages and dialects. And they said three uh, Hausa Ibu and Yoruba are the major languages. What happened to three four hundred and ninety seven? Come on, come on! Uh, mathematics tells you that four hundred and ninety seven against three languages, meaning the the minority are the majority, but they don't want to get that. <laughs> That's a common thing. Anyway, yes, sir. thank you all. once again, and then. Uh, by God's grace, try and make it a date and give us suggestions how to go further with it. Okay? All right, sir. Kendo, I buy you. I buy you. God is all a baby. The meaning of that is bye bye. Until, See you next week. Until next week. All right. All right. Take bye -bye. Um, uh, please, I, I, I suggest a newcomer should get a book and a biro. And jot yes. down things so that next class you'll be able to compile yes. your Gosa um, words together and learn. Thank you. Okay. I want, if you are compiling notes, very soon you will write your own uh, uh, simple Gosa book, which you can yeah. even use to teach, and we can even use it to teach other people. Yeah. So try to be taking All notes. Right. All right. Bye, bye, yeah, you. bye everybody. Bye, bye you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Um, I think Prof would have had to stay on the call for longer. For oh, he has to stop the recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what I will do now is I'll make the um screenshots available I on the, the screenshot platform already. Yeah, I'll make okay, it okay. available okay. on the general platform. Okay. All okay. Right. All right. Okay. Tara, Bye, Tara, how are you doing? <laughs>